Well, Lisey County's District Attorney Juan Guerra spoke to News Center 23. Now with his side of the story. Kenny? That's right, Angel and Cindy. Yesterday in court, Willis County's District Attorney Juan Guerra was noticeably absent. The question on everyone's mind was, where's Guerra? Tonight we spoke with him about the multi-count indictments naming several high-profile officials and why he missed the hearing. The state of Texas is not present, which is a rarity in my experience as a lawyer and as a judge. And I will not conduct a hearing when one of the parties is not present. Without Guerra being in court yesterday, Judge Manuel Banales would not allow the hearing to move forward. But Guerra says he was never informed of any hearing, so he went to Mexico to visit some family. Well, I wasn't aware that there was going to have a hearing. Uh, we have usually have the indictment, uh, and then they're all placed on the docket for the first week of the month. That's the way the, uh, our um, schedule is set out. So, I, you know, we did the indictments, and I, you know, I left town. But tomorrow, he says, will be different. Yes, a courtesy to the court, I'm going to be here uh, uh, tomorrow. Yesterday, defense lawyers were upset with Guerra's no-show because they say they wanted to settle everything before Guerra leaves office. Well, I'm not happy with it. I want to do it today. The DA is not here, so we're stuck. Defense lawyer for Vice President Dick Cheney, Tony Canales, says the multi-count indictments have no validity. It's groundless, frivolous, not based on good faith at all. The district attorney is absolutely wrong. But the district attorney disagrees. Well, the only thing I can tell you is that the evidence uh, uh, is overwhelming. Uh, we have a lot of evidence to substantiate all of the indictments. The, uh, this is an ongoing investigation, and uh, we, the grand jury and putting all these things together uh, has been going on for the past uh, four months. I mean, the community might have not known as to what was happening, but we have been working diligently, uh, bringing witnesses from throughout the, uh, the country, uh, experts, uh, even other legislators, uh, that were brought in from other parts of the county, the country, to testify. As for the defense, they claim this is just a case of political retaliation. Guetta says it is not. Well, I mean, I, I don't know as far as regarding political enemies. I, I, I read uh, uh, Dick, Mr. Dick Cheney or Alberto Gonzalez, so I don't see how they are my political enemies. You know, we just present the, the evidence and move forward. He says it boils down to organized crime. Who is allowing the death rate to continue in the private prison, why are uh, people that are in a position to stop the killing are not doing anything about it? Not only that, they're making money of the fact that they're not doing anything about it. And the Raymondville Chronicle is now reporting that the judge has ordered Guerra to be removed as prosecutor for five of the nine criminal cases. And if necessary, Texas Rangers are ready to escort Guerra to court tomorrow morning. But as you heard, he said he'll be there. And you can count on New Center 23 to bring you the very latest.